Hey guys, um, listen, I don't talk about uh, my my antiques business very often because, to be frank, it's not much of a business these days. Uh, before I got started on Amazon, I was a full-time eBay seller for about 10 years, and uh, the bulk of my business was in antiques and collectibles. Like, I didn't discover that you could sell new stuff on the internet until 2011. Um, primarily because I probably wasn't uh, active in any of the boards, I wasn't on Facebook, um, and it's, you know, Facebook wasn't even around for, for the majority of those 10 years, I believe. So, um, but at the end of, you know, I, uh, I spent quite a lot of my uh, early years just, just going to auctions, going to yard sales, um, bought out some estates from time to time, and uh, you know, I sold a lot of old things. I sold a lot of newer collectible things. And, um, and like I said, I just don't talk about that very much in my videos because it's not a very big part of my business anymore. It's more of a, a hobby side thing that I do. Um, but yesterday I got a tip from a friend that a uh, antique shop is actually in the process of moving. And I guess they're trying to blow through some inventory. Um, and he sent me a couple pictures of uh, some Lenci, L-E-N-C-I, figurines. Um, and he thought that I could pick up the pair uh, for, for a reasonable price. There's two of them. I'm going to go look at them. Hopefully I can buy them. And, uh, you know, if I do buy them, I'll publish this video. And we'll put those suckers on eBay. And we'll see how they did. And it will, uh, you know... I'm doing it to maybe illustrate a point that there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, a lot of our Amazon sales are items that we flip. We might net five dollars, you know, at the end at the end of the day on a particular item. Hopefully, we can net ten, fifteen, twenty dollars on an item. But that's not always the case. Um, if you buy right for uh, eBay, if you buy the right antique, the right collectible at the right price, you can net hundreds of dollars on a single item. Um, and that's what we're going to try to do today. I want to see what I can get a hold of and um, we'll just keep this video series going until these things are sold and uh, hopefully I made some money at the end of it. All right, that's it. Okay, so I went to the sale um, <clears throat> that my buddy told me about and uh, I met him there actually and he had some things he wanted me to take a look at. And uh, so I bought some stuff from him before I even ever went into the sale. Um, and then I, I went inside and they'd already sold off a lot of stuff, um, but they, they had a bunch of stuff left over, including the two pieces that, uh, that he had initially called me about. And um, so I checked those pieces out and we ended up making a deal there. And um, the lady that was in charge, um, you know, I helped her out by buying these two rather expensive pieces. And uh, so she wanted to help me out too and told me that, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff in the, in the shop she'd be able to give to me at garage sale prices. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, I believe that, that that is what I ended up getting. Um, I got a lot of great stuff for really good prices. And um, I'm going to flip the camera around here and we're going to take a look at some things in first person. Starting with uh, some of the items that uh, my buddy sold to me, uh, including this Lalik Ram vase, uh, another piece of Lalik crystal, uh, two lions, um, a couple glass or crystal hippos. Uh, one is Baccarat and the other is Orifors. Um, and that's like, it was uh, 200, 100, and those were $20 a piece. Uh, and then I have this uh, Lofer uh, Palisander. Norwegian flatware set and uh, this cost me 300 bucks guys um, I, I think I can probably double my money on a couple of these items and I won't double my money here but I do believe there's some money to be made pretty cool set um, but now let's get to the stuff that was in the shop and I, I'm going to start here with this uh, with these Lenci groups uh, Lenci Italian pottery uh, these are the pieces that I went to look at and uh, if you want to take a look real quick at the original prices on these that she had 3000 and uh, 1750 um, I was able to negotiate my way down to about 1100 I was shooting for a thousand uh, but I ended up getting the pair for 1100 so we'll say seven and four and you'll see here uh, his hat is damaged so I'm gonna have to send that off to my repair guy he'll take care of that for me 
Um, and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this piece uh, on eBay. Um, now, so we're at a 1100, right? For, for the total purchase. Well, let's look around real quick. And I'll tell you, first of all, I paid 1600 for everything you're about to see. Okay, so 11, 1100 here and 500 more for everything else you're about to see, um, including this uh, controlled bubble paperweight, which I believe is actually a doorstop. Um, we've got a Liberty of London, uh, William Morris uh, Arts and Crafts print, uh, terry cloth beach bag that cost me two bucks guys um wedgewood elephant plate another two bucks uh, i got a 50 piece set or a 40 piece set of this port Marion holly and ivy um it was hundreds of dollars she ended up giving it to me for 50 bucks for all the all the pieces i think i can sell four plates four dinner plates for 50 bucks um, here we've got some sculptures um one i can't even remember the name at this point Alfred Barini or Brulini and uh, and Bob Bennett sculptures $65 a piece on these 200 on that um, there's a, a teapot I don't remember the name anymore but that was 750 for a figural teapot Fiorware pottery 20 bucks for that little set uh, um, a nice decorated toll uh, tray uh, three bucks a fish roaster of all things. Uh, I don't love the condition on the lid. It's a Magnolite fish roaster. I looked it up. I mean, I should be able to sell that for $30 to $40. I paid five. Um, I'm cool with it. It'll ship easy. It's not gonna get damaged. Um, here's an Amazon item. Take off the geography game. Uh, this cost me $3, okay? It is opened, it is complete, and on Amazon, a, a used, uh, you know, used examples are selling for 60 and better, and, um, this one's in great shape, so I, I think I'm right in there. I think I'll be able to get 60 plus dollars for that. And like I said, three dollars I paid. Um, you know, here's an amp. It was forty dollars. I think the going price on eBay was well over a hundred. Uh, but I, you know, I don't have a power cord with it. I didn't even think about it at the time that I bought it. So I might not do so hot on that one. But at a forty dollar purchase, I'm not going to lose too bad. Cuisinart soft serve maker. I paid ten dollars. The box is beat up, but the thing is wrapped up and brand new on the inside. I'll flip that on Amazon for 60 bucks, and I'll list it as uh, probably used very good, or, you know, and, and just mention that the box is a little beat up. Uh, and over here, I got two boxes full of antique children's books. Look at these things. Regular Fellas in the Navy, a uh, World War II era uh, book that kind of mashes together, you know, uh, comic characters and um, historical photographs. You know, it's just all intertwined, good, brilliant colors. Um, somebody will like that book. And then some other books here, Cubby Bear, and uh, would you like to know Peter? Peter's got his little uh, hoop to push down the street. Um, and the teeny tiny ABC cloth book, um, 1908, you know. It's not really worth much, but I'll flip this. I'll take this whole collection to an auction, and they'll just sell it as a box lot. Look at this. V Begins Van. I have a van. Don't look anything like that van. And uh, speaking of Peter and his hoop, H begins hoop. So cute little book. There's a whole bunch more in there. Um, and then there's this piece, which I found really interesting. I can't find another one anywhere on the internet. It's probably illegal to own or something. The uh, William Sonoma Home, Home Charcoal Pro 2000. It's like a little at-home hibachi kit with the instructions. I open the sucker up. It is unused. It's brand new in the box. Uh, my version is actually orange, not green. So I kind of like that better. For the, uh, you know, I guess, who knows? I, I mean, it was $10, so I was willing to take a chance on it. Um, these books here were $20. Um, oh, and then we've got this unopened 1991 Hijax Stilts. So, uh, you know, it, it's brand new in the box. Um, my cost, or yeah, it was $3, and I found these selling on eBay for 30 to 40 bucks, and I can just slap a shipping label on that and be done with it. Here, here's the here's kind of a really cool piece. I don't love the. It looks pretty dated, like uh, early '90s, late '80s. Uh, Marvin the Martian, uh, created by somebody named Vought. I looked this up. Um, I found three different prices on uh, Worth Point. I think two ninety nine, four ninety nine, and the other one was like twelve hundred and fifty dollars or more. And these are all sold prices. Um, but you know, my cost was thirty bucks. So even if it only sells for two hundred dollars. Um, I'll have somebody else pack and ship that for me and uh, you know I'll, I'll be doing fine there 
Um, so I'm gonna sell this stuff on eBay and I'm gonna keep, uh, you know, keep everybody posted on, on how I did. The goal is to make all my money back on one or, you know, maybe it'll take both, but I actually think that I can make my entire purchase price back on just one of those figures. Um, and that's not including these things over here. This was a different deal. Um, and I'll make some money here too. But all the other things you saw on the table, um, this guy here or this guy here, or maybe both together, one way or another, these guys are gonna pay for everything else you saw. And the rest of it's gonna be pure gravy. So, uh, like I said, I'll keep you all updated. Uh, it was a really fun day, exciting, you know, to, I was excited to get back into it and buy a few things um, for, for eBay. And, uh, you know, just take a quick look. I, I got a lot for my money yesterday. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I always loved this business. You just never know what you're gonna run into. You never know what you're gonna end up buying. Um, totally different world than Amazon FBA. Um, and, and you know, the money's a little slower to come in, but the, the ROI on items can be huge. Um, so, all right. Thanks for watching.